Let's go! Episode 28, watching the world burn. This is the one where we contemplate going back on the road and becoming passport bros. <laughs> Why not? It's a good shot. <laughs> I'm going to get back to that topic later, but for yeah. now, I'm going to hit you with a weasel news. All right. Teacher banned for threatening pupils and taking them to a strip club on Costa Rica Strip. <laughs> Sounds like a goat. Like a I'm not even going to lie to me. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. I never went to a school trip with our old school. I went to school trip in primary school, but I think our school trip only had like one, and it was in Germany because when we were yeah. doing study in German. And I think after mm. that, people weren't relied, or uh, people weren't like, is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> we were no longer we were, allowed trips. Yes, we were no longer allowed to do trips, <laughs> and those trips ended. There was never a school trip that was lasted more than a day. <laughs> there was a notice on the border crossing. Please do not allow this school to leave anywhere. Probably it feels like that. And I skipped it. Yeah, I just couldn't be asked. That was the time when my mom made a choice. She was like, oh, you're going to have, you can either go with your school people or you can go Disneyland. And I went, uh, Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chill oh. with people and then learn German. Ah, I'm going to ride the Space Mountain. Boom. You know what? In my mind, right, the threatening pupils and taking them to strip up in Costa Rica is like he had all female students and is threatening them to strip for him. <laughs> You wanted to open up the strip club down there. Nah, so the way it is, it's a proper posh school, apparently. Uh, you, you pay. One, one of them ones that they stay at a chalet. If you would know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> apparently they pay 4.8k per term just to rock up. And then if you stay at the school, because it's kind of like a boarding school, you can pay like yeah. 9.8k, basically 16 to 18 year olds. And obviously they had their little school trip to Costa Rica because, you know, like that's how them yeah. type of schools roll. That's how you roll when you, when you got yeah. that kind of cash. We go autumn towers and then these people are rolling up to Costa Rica like it's nothing. Yeah, so anyway, we must have gone on to the trip. Like, like and subscribe so we can afford our strip club trip to Costa Rica. That true. I did have another fundraiser for this episode, but it's coming off later too. <laughs> We can have more than one. Yeah, fundraisers for everything. I still ain't got my robot, so get it together, people. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not lying. This place looks baller, bro. And then <laughs> I just took a picture in the strip club outside. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah. All right, what you got for me? Uh, this is very on brand. Not quite watching the world burn. It's watching one eight billion of the world burn. This dude in India was waiting for his daughter and daughter-in-law to make him tea. And yeah. in protest, he decided to set himself alight. How long would that he wait for? Gasoline and set himself alight. Bruv, they must have been taking their time. Let's be honest. They, must have, they have time to get up, go for a walk, <laughs> to fill up the little tank. <laughs> go back, <laughs> sit down, pour yourself in it and go, ah, crap, I forgot got the matches go out yeah. get the match because <laughs> they never where you left them and the joke thing is is he probably went into the kitchen to get the matches yeah. <laughs> uh, messing around or getting this heat and it's like screw you lot, I'm out <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Unless he put inflammable means flammable. And he thought the whole house will burn down except for him. He was like, <laughs> screw these bitches. Uh, Just so you know, anyone who's uh, eventually listening to this, write in the comments if you actually know that this is like a big thing in India or something that you can't take waiting for your tea from your daughters. <laughs> that's a doo-doo fish. Hold on. Are these the same people? <laughs> it's just a weird tea <laughs> fetish. <laughs> No, this one's slightly different. So these two, they were like spicing up the love life or whatever, and they would pour candle wax on each other, you know, it's like getting all um thing, and then they thought, oh, let, let's let's put hot food into us, right? So they decided right. to pour molten sugar on the set oh. of the test. Molten oh, sugar. That. There's no getting that. No. That's not no. even like. Literally no. Like, why would you even think of that though? I think he might he might have been trolling. I don't know, but like their defense was like, oh, we thought it was like wax and it's gonna cool down instantly. No, bros. Oh, hold on. I'm distracted by this the clickbaity title underneath. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just got distracted by the clickbaity title underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Man has time clapped cheeks with his wife through the door but ends up getting stuck. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, a man's taking his glory hole to a different level. I think this has to be bookmarked because I think there's going to be some gold in these two articles. But hold on. <laughs> Who held the wax to the chest? They've actually, no, they've actually tried the to molten do sh- molten hot sugar and molten hot gummy sweet. See, I could try guy, to yeah. lick the substance off. He tried to lick it off when it's hot. <laughs> the guy could peel off and he burned his mouth. <laughs> Oh, these people are idiots. I'm not going to lie, they deserve what they got. Out of all the many things that he could have done, yeah. I could have saved him the third degree burns. Just rub a little deep heat on your sack and let's see how he enjoys that. <laughs> see if he wants Actually, to experiment with molten syrup. You know what? Glad you said that. I ended up so, in hospital after. Wait, what? V- Vagatial or whatever. It's like a facial for a vagina. So I'm guessing it's like pulling back the whatever. I know, it's supposed to make it more subtle or whatever, subtle. Whatever it is, right? So the idea was that she was supposed to crouch over a steamy thing, right? Like where they they put some herbs and whatever in the pot, it evaporates into her thing and oh, it makes it like, I don't know, I, I don't see it. <laughs> see However, her <laughs> husband forgot that he was cooking chili in that pot before. Didn't wash it up properly. So yes, this is one you can relate to almost. Apart from having the vagina, but you know. Hey, you don't know what I identify as. <laughs> 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 All right, on a non-related note, but still related, speaking of identifying as stuff, I need to get my hands on one of these. It's basically this guy stuck a thing, like a little mm. fake electric socket thing, and it just takes any yeah. form of electric. It just holds it. Bruv, I'm mm. going to get one. I think, is it a magnetic or did yeah. you stick it down? Because then I could just park anywhere. You park up at the front, mm. how you know it's not a hybrid? I just plug it in and just, you just bring your own cable. Really. How much is a cable? Yeah. And then you get all sick parking spaces, bruv. <laughs> Why a truck guy is so insecure? <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey, I don't even see how that's got any secure. That's just pure genius. I'm actually going to do yeah. product after the show and see if I can get my hands on one of them. I feel like that needs to be attempted. Do you know what I mean? Why am I parking all the way to the other side when I can comfortably just park at the front? Yeah, pull out my rubber blade all the way to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like this is not going the way I planned this because I was actually going to go off on a topic about passport brewing, but we've gone quite left for a bit. So yeah. let's see if we can steer it back towards passport, bro. So <laughs> actually not, to be fair. While we're on people doing home remedies and people doing randomness mm. um, and forgetting well, not being able to math. This kind of brings us back to the previous previous episode where the lawyer would out lawyer people without a degree. And I said, I will refuse to be out mathed by a guy who does not know how to use Excel. Personal trainer started frothing off the mouth and died after accidentally making himself a caffeine power drink equivalent, powder drink, sorry, equivalent to 200 cups of coffee. Oh, Bruv. what? So what? here's what happened. This guy, yeah. he was a personal trainer. So obviously he was mm. like buying pre workout and all of those things there yeah turns out he thought i could make this cheaper it's basically a ton of caffeine but he bought himself a scale measured it out thinking 19 milligrams should be enough problem is his scale wasn't in milligrams it was in grams <laughs> oh so he yes 19 grams oh, oh that's that's a big difference <laughs> oh <laughs> See, if he went for like half the size and he went to 100 cups of coffee, you'd get that super speed. He could have done the extra workout. Slow yeah, time exactly. down in everything, bruv. Yeah. I feel bad for him, but yo, get your calculator skills up. Because if you're measuring things, at least know what you're measuring. I'm sure you would realize that that's a lot of powder. At what point that... do you like think, I'm pouring out half the box. This is not going to be cost effective at all. Yeah, he bought 100 mil... 100 gram bag so he basically did one fifth of it and this is the guy you go to for nutrition advice don't worry yeah, well, 30,000 well, well, calories well, a day is fine <laughs> Look, when you're eating powder instead of drinking a shake, that's when you have to stop. <laughs> Bro, can you imagine? I remember studying at uni, yeah? And I think this is where my mm. caffeine resistance came from. So remember they used to have mm. those Pro Plus pills that would just keep you yes. up so you study? Bro, yep. I was so tired, I banged out two of them and fell asleep. I woke up and my heart was racing, my arm was tingling. <laughs> and then 
Like, oh. I was just on a hype. And I yeah. feel like, not my, not my arm, but just like my fingertips. Because I don't know where it was. That was the last time I took it. And then mm. I just had to walk around and back to sleep. <laughs> it was useless, but it was an intense <laughs> amount of caffeine. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I remember having one of them after studying all night for an exam. I did an exam super quick. I literally took half the day, a lot of time for an exam. And I passed it with ease, right? <laughs> but... <laughs> I remember, like, towards the end, like, because, like, you weren't allowed to leave early. Oh, so you were just sitting like, there on a hype. I was initially sitting on a hype, and then I crashed. Biting your nails like a worst experience ever. Cracking your yeah. face like, <laughs> like the worst worst experience ever. <laughs> <laughs> I was scratching the desk, fidgeting. And at one point, because of the caffeine content, you know how I wanted to ish. <laughs> <laughs> like, in between is that you have to do it in a bag. <laughs> That brown champagne. <laughs> Everyone behind me had brown paper. <laughs> you, that's when you ask for extra sheets. <laughs> that's when we're writing paper, miss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. What's this? Right, wait, so, wait, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> Gonna see that situation as you know, you're with a chick, the questionable virtue, and you realize you don't have a condom. So, what do you do? And this dude in India, for I know, I'll put us not glue, not super glue, you don't want it to be extra safe, he used epoxy glue. Oh, and that dries hard, yes, I mean, they just need it, and that's the yeah, situation. <laughs> Darwin Award, right? Definitely deserves a Darwin Award. But you know what it was, yeah? In my head, yeah. I was thinking like in primary school, remember when you used to put that white glue on your hands and then you used to peel it off? I yeah. think that's what he was thinking. Yes, like, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, just, that's yeah. what epoxy is. <laughs> Because, you know, there was a time where I was just watching those epoxy videos. Did he stick an LED yeah. light in it as well? Because that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. she, she wasn't into doing it with a light on. <laughs> oh, no, that's mad. All right. Oh. So let's take it back to the whole passport world things. Like I said, yeah, yeah. there's a village in the Amazon forest somewhere. Amazon? Right. In Brazil. Somewhere there that has... Yeah. Amazon. Only seven men and yep. 3,000 women. And it's an old school primitive tribe. And then mm. basically these dudes have to hide in trees because these women, when they get on it, they're like, on <laughs> death by snoo snoo, <laughs> I swear. Death <laughs> by snoo snoo. <laughs> oh. And then, wait, but hold on, here's the best part. So they've got no concept of mm. marriage. They often switch men, obviously, because they don't stand, they don't really have a choice. I mean, and there seem to be fewer and fewer men in the tribe. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how that's working, but I mean, 3,000 surely mathematically you can't just be shooting XX's like you have to have some XY's out there because the men get sh get shagged to death that's what it is <laughs> oh. they're like I can't anymore <laughs> that's my turn but hold on this, this is why we passport bros in it up yeah there's only seven people left now one of that them one of like them is an scratches on his face <laughs> they got a bit aggressive with it one of them is an old man yeah yeah and then others kids look at this kid this kid knows what's coming up the look on yeah, his face yeah, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> you see what happened to my brother i don't want to go like this <laughs> or maybe they become reverse pastor bros they flee from <laughs> oh when well, they're not gonna get any yeah that's the 13 year old hold on but here's the thing because of the way it works this is why scar calling women like men with big bellies and big buttocks your weight gain has now come in handy <laughs> You're going to be top of that food chain, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to mention There's a tribe in Ghana Where the men They have like a ritual Where men ingest some weird concoctions That make their bellies swell Because the more plump you are The more likely you are To be chosen by the woman So I'm saying You have a head start <laughs> Oh <laughs> All I'm thinking is hub videos In the plumper section <laughs> Oh, that's 
jokes. But since we're talking about African tribes and dating, I found this mm. one. So Namibia, mm. right? There's a practice where basically the guy lies down and the bride's sisters or cousins or whoever, just a bunch of women, because mm. I don't know if you ain't got sisters, like they twerk on him. And if he gets a hard on, he's not marriage material because he'll cheat on his wife, bro. Look at them throwing it down on him, bro. Walking <laughs> 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 it down. <laughs> Get a good whiff of this thing, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's winning and losing at the same time, bro. <laughs> sitting on his face as well on the other side. He goes, the girl standing over his pr- face is probably what's saving him. <laughs> Such a trot, bro. That's violence. <laughs> <laughs> then obviously because the thing is is um seduced by the bride sisters the comment is mm. what if this what if she doesn't have any sisters what if she's only got brothers <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the only kind of dudes that they actually end up married because they're the only guys that can't <laughs> make sense <laughs> if the dudes ain't got brothers she ain't got brothers <laughs> Oh, that's classic. I get hard by eating a grape or a gust of wind. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> that woman flapping over his face. It's Katas. He goes, I bet you there's a lot of single men in that village. What else have I got for you? I had another one that was... Oh, so I think we were heard. We were kind of heard. It's disappointing and it wasn't what I was expecting, but it might develop into something else. Have you heard this? They've got Florida Man Games. Bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> and there's an alligator which checks story checks out. <laughs> That's the thickest logo ever, bruv. So... What can you expect from the games, bruv? You get the same adrenaline rush, but minus the jail time. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a couple of lists of the events we've been expecting. They've got right. the weaponized pool noodle mud duel. Yeah, that's just... Okay. That's, you want to register your team for that? <laughs> we can get out. <laughs> Oh, how you be so big and have a six pack? How does that? How do I get one of these six packs on that type of frame? <laughs> I think you need the surgery to be honest. They think I read optical card. That sounds so joke, bro. Let's be honest. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so joke, bro. That one has to have alligators in it, right? I don't know. I mean, but the thing is, there was was that dude that tried to run away from the police and got eaten by an alligator. That's mad. Was it? I assume it's Florida. I'm not even going to bother. Of course, it was Florida. (laughs) Where else? But here's what makes it more authentic: you get chased by an actual fed. Like an He's an official police officer, so I guess they caught him on his day off, innit? <laughs> How would you like to make some extra cash? <laughs> or one of them, like, this man was exposing himself oh, to the crowd. He pays the guy off rip, bro. From <laughs> <laughs> ready step. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's true. And if the cop is drunk, you have to evade bullets. Oh, that'd be a mad one as well. But this is the thing. I, I feel like they've got a health and safety thing. They've got a category B cash grab. Laura doesn't have health and safety. That's also true. Category five cash yeah. grab. How? Uh, basically, just cash in the wind, then you grab as many as you can. Like, remember what's it called? What's the thing called? Crystal Maze. The last. Yeah, thing. I remember. Yeah. That's what I imagine it is. But yeah. by the looks of it, it's going to be in water. And I assume that if I don't know, I just wait for it to land in the water. All right. And I'll get. This one sounds joke, bro. A catalytic converter, two bikes, and a handful of copper pipes racing <laughs> in time. So you, just, you are here snatching the cats of hybrid cars, bro. <laughs> that sounds jokes. Oh, that does sound jokes. Also, sounds very Florida. Beer belly, Florida sumo. Oh, I think, that's I, the one. I think this is the event that's calling her. Yeah, it really is. We'll finally, live out our dream to be sumo wrestlers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know what, though, yeah? The dream who are too lazy to pursue. You know how bad that sounds, man? <laughs> You're too lazy to get fat. <laughs> oh, I need to eat this cake, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta burn too many calories just getting to it. Oh, hold on. You might as well look at that. Where is it? So there's divisions of this. There's games in this stuff. So obviously, mm. like, if you're on the low end, there are the categories and the weight classes. This is useless to me. Yeah. So the thing is, yeah, this dream was actually achievable. And to be fair, they move in like the strongest men, so you have to be carrying a ton of stuff. But achievable or huh? achievable by us. <laughs> Weight wise, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, so this is the thing, yeah? So you've mm. got the men's category. I mean, did you pan play the identifying stuff? Because, uh, you know what I mean? Because otherwise, that, that's done, they just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> just slap the out the ring. Just boom. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, so the current weight limits, yeah, for yeah. guys, you're lightweight below 85 kg. I have not oh, been below, below 85 kg since thing. I was 16. <laughs> Maybe 17. But this is what I'm saying. 85 kg is the lightweight. Then yeah. 85 to 100 is middleweight. Then you've got light heavyweight, yeah. which is 100 to 115. And then you've got heavyweight, which is 115 plus. All right. So I'm currently a heavyweight. But if I can't wait, I can make it to light heavyweight. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming, bro. I'm aiming one fourteen point five. So there's no confusion that I'm in that. I'm in that light heavyweight category because you know the guys that are going to be one fifteen plus are going to be massive. Yeah, I know. You ever seen gonna Sanctuary be. on Netflix? Yes, Sanctuary. I think it's Sanctuary. And the, I think the sumo, the sumo wrestling one. Yeah. And the guy's slow motion slapped him so hard his ear fell off. I know. Is that the weight class you want to be in? No. No. So let me ask you this though, yeah? Do you have to be fat to be a sumo wrestler? Can I be? in shape 100 keys and go and compete as a sumo wrestler so technically it, there's nothing stopping you right is it just a weight limit like it's not a shape limit okay, yeah I don't, I don't think it's a shape limit I mean they don't make you go through it you must be this <laughs> 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 the white stand, the guy standing there with a tape measure. No, your circumference <laughs> is not big enough. Take your ass up to the middle weights. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, that's joke. Hold on. How did we end up on this topic? Oh, Florida man beer thingy. Yeah. Hold on. What do we have to do to compete in a Japanese sumo wrestling match? Like, swear down, yeah? Yeah. If we get to a million subs, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> unrealistic goals. We're never making a million. <laughs> it's just for the long. Yeah, exactly. Because... <laughs> <laughs> As we learned from the last episode, when that kid has to go to Thailand and become an MMA fighter, let's just not, <laughs> let's just not show us. <laughs> If we get for a minute, we'll pretend that we're trans and compete in the free on free Olympics women's basketball team. <laughs> Who's the third so person? first, potential wrestlers need to be male. Okay. Story checks out. Secondly, they must have a certain level of physicality and meet specific height and weight criteria. What's the height criteria for lightweight? Additionally, they have to have a high school diploma or equivalent. All right. Nailed that too. What's the height requirement? You have to wear that thong though. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> going to be a bit. That's <laughs> not going to... That does not look comfortable at all. The thing is, though, they literally buy that it. fun. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> Oh, it's not gonna be fun. Oh, just crush my fruit. That's not gonna be fun at all, bro. Your bones will never be the same again. Not if I epoxy them to protect them. <laughs> Get that hard shell coating. <laughs> Oh, that right, hit me up with this high requirement, bro. Okay, so a professional sumo wrestler must be at least 167 centimeters tall. 100 and, and how many? 167. Oh, that's, that's light work, bro. How many feet is that? It's Japan. I mean, you know. Oh, yeah, that's also true. Five foot four yeah. and a bit. <laughs> that's <laughs> light work. <laughs> All right. Uh, bro, wait, 67 you, kilograms imagine, or more. Yeah, five foot. <laughs> that's just primary school. <laughs> no, but. All right, but this is what I'm saying. If you're five foot four and you're going up against the guy who's 115, bro, you're gonna struggle. That's a low center of gravity that he's. Uh, 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 however, now so the sumo stable requires you to be five foot eight and 75 right, so kilos or more. Legit. But there's also a fitness test. What's the fitness test? I mean, they're sumos. They can't. <laughs> I <just> run five <laughs> <K>. <laughs> By the time he finishes, he's under the weight limit. Yeah, it's not going to be one of those. Nah, we need it to can't do be it. easy because only 34 men applied in 2023. Yeah, but you're assuming that because this is Japan, maybe there wasn't that many fat people because they had to pay the fat tax. Like, now nah, I'm not paying that. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so they kept themselves in shape. <laughs> and then uh, those, 30, those 38 people were like, I can't do this, man. I'll just become a sumo. <laughs> and then they just broke up to the thing. Previously, one of these sumo wrestlers who did not quite reach the height and weight minimums were known to take extreme measures. This included drinking mean? large amounts of water to attempt to add weight. They were reverse cutting. <laughs> they just literally reverse cutting, bruv. <laughs> and one wrestler underwent a surgery to install a piece of silicone on top of his head to oh, literally that. The bump thing, himself I, up to minimum height. I do remember reading that. <laughs> that was one of the things that was back in the day, yes. Ah. 
Oh, hold on. And then you just basically rock up with one of these escalators. This is for you. This is for you. Sumos go that way. Well, this is a mortgage. I would feel so violated if I saw it. <laughs> like, no. That would force me to take the steps. Like, you walk up, that was... stairs for the fat people. <laughs> Escalator for the fat people. <laughs> stairs for the skinny people. I'm taking those stairs, bro. Yeah. Allowed, yeah. Amer- the comments, America needs that shit. Fat phobia is, is better than fat acceptance. Yeah. It's one of those things, innit? It's not mean, it's motivation so people walk more. Yeah. So you just take out one of them and then call it a day. Let's wrap this episode up with yeah. one of our fundraisers that I was saving. Yes. Bruv, this thing here, this thing here looks oh. so sick. Look at it, bro. So it's like, it's a simulator thing that's hooked up yeah. to this RC car. And as it moves up, mm. this thing moves up with you. And it's got that mm. 3D cam thing, bruv. Oh, that's sick. I want one of those. How much you reckon one of these costs? Oh, can you imagine you getting run over by that truck? I'd be pissed, <laughs> bruv. <laughs> you spent all that money and you, boom, get <laughs> Hello. Oh, you can do Hello. both as well. Brav. And then, okay, fine. If you can do both, there's nothing really stopping you from doing those airplanes as well, no? Oh, he yeah. tipped it. You reckon Ooh. as it tips, the whole your whole simulator just flips you over. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit bad, dude. How do we get our hands on one of these? How much do they cost, bro? <laughs> the comment is until your car flips 10, 10 kilometers away, then you have to go up and get it. <laughs> Probably just cheaper to take a real car off-roading. Mm. I think this is, this would be a nice little setup. So if you get like a, a track and you have yeah. 10 of these lined up and then you just make people race each other from a different go-karting thing, then you could literally set it up so you can Mario Kart it as well because it's programmable yeah. remote control cars, no? Mm. The, the, literally, this guy's thinking exactly what I'm saying. When the car flipped, is the driver okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, where, bro? There's no, like, I need to figure out how much this costs, bro. I need to get mm. our hands on one of these, bro. <laughs> if you got flipped, then it also might be the way you die. That about how this <laughs> yeah, is. How I die. It just flips me over. Just a random spray. If I'm using the boat, just waterboards me just to keep it real. <laughs> Oh man, now that, oh hold on, they've got a thing, no? They do have a website. They've got, bruv, they've got other stuff. Oh, bruv. Oh, so hold on, this is the no, this Look, is the one. Is that, that the flight thing? Yeah, I think it's the flight one, bro. Uh, that drone looks mind sick, mind bro. I wouldn't mind one, one of those either. All right, so I think we should send the fundraiser to the drone. I think that's way more <laughs> realistic. Yes. If, if I could get the 2.7 million robot, <laughs> we're, t- we're getting a bunch of these. Put in a simulator? A simulator the robot. On the robot, yeah. And they just crush all the other little remote control cars. Just, yeah. <laughs> just run them over like, fuck your car. Fuck your car. <laughs> Oh, those jokes. Ooh. All right. And I think on that note, I say we call it. <laughs> right. Let's call it. Let's call it.